Howdy, y'all. So I did want to do a little playing here and then explain a little bit here of the guitar, because this is, this, I just got new guitar day. Uh, and again, I, yes, I'm poor, but again, under $200. So, uh, and the reason that I have this one here and this one here is because this is, it's a, you can see, basically, it's a PRS ripoff. Um, it's got the little birdies on it and all that good stuff. Uh, and this, this one actually is a PRS ripoff of a PRS because it's a PRS SE. So um, this one is a little bit more accurate towards what um, Paul Reed Smith is trying to do. Um, and this one is a complete ripoff. <laughs> uh, there are some things that are cool on this one, but it is definitely not like that one but anyways uh this is starting to become more about the music sometimes as well and and i was just playing and i can't really play this a little i can play this a, a little bit better because it was like oh i love the sound but i'll explain in a minute about why i can't play it better <laughs> Anyway, that's the, that was the, uh, that was that funk thing. I don't know why I couldn't find the wah, but that's what I was looking for. That whole time was that wah. And um, so with this guitar, that's one of the things that I don't like actually is it's it's very it's very cool guitar it's very well made and stuff but the back has sorry the back has um the lacquered neck and it just you can't to me the lacquered neck is you can't get it get plain and you can't get the speed and that's why i was like well i'm almost there but it's uh, when i'm doing that you can totally feel my hand just it's my hand is like oh yeah, we don't want to stay there, so... So if you're playing slow blues and stuff, that's cool, but uh, I was born in the 60s, was a kid in the 70s, and I listened to butt rock in the 80s, so... I do have a little bit of influence there with the <laughs> with that style of playing, and uh, I need a little bit of blend in between all of them, you know. But anyway, uh, the reason for purchasing a Paul Reed Smith knockoff um, for under two hundred bucks is because. Uh, I really wanted to do things with this one, but it, it's, you know, a real one, so I didn't want to mess it up and kill the value. And uh, with this one, you get the looks, and what I'm going to do is see if I, well, i got to see, I'm going to take it apart and see what kind of uh, pickups are in it first, and hopefully we'll get four wire uh, humbuckers. If not, I'm probably going to order some and try to do a little coil splitting with this thing. Um, and the bridge... Not so good, so wow, yeah. Uh, we gotta do something about that, so um, but overall, it's a pretty cool guitar. Um, like the other reviews I've seen, setup is for nothing. Uh, pretty much, <laughs> it was. It's kind of funny when I, I looked at the, all the saddles. It, it, the saddles, in a perfect, in a perfect world, they should be contoured to the uh, contour of the the fretboard. These were the, the like this, and they, they were going up like this. So the low E is all the way down, and the high E is like is like this much further. Up. I'm like, what the hell? So I had to take care of that, and. Um, just a whole bunch of stupid stuff that I would I'd definitely not consider 
a breaking point for a guitar like this because you purchase them because they're cheap and having them, having to set them up is just part of the deal in my mind anyway so uh the folks complaining about having to set them up i don't i don't see the the problem just because that's part of why you purchase them at a lower price point is because it's not all set up and you can do it yourself and set it up the way you want to and uh you know again yeah, save yourself money if if they're not set up because that's where a lot of a lot of the cost for the big boys that's where they come in is the human hands and everybody wants american made guitars and all that but they don't want to pay the two three thousand dollars but that's why you have to pay that much is because of the human interaction with them they can get them close with the cnc machines but then you have to work on them so it's like okay great you, you know i got it for under 200 dollars but if you start adding up my labor and all that um it's going to start costing more money uh and that's why i like them because you know i put the labor in myself this is my therapy so you know, this is keeping my uh demons away keeping neuropathy away keeping my head busy keeping you know stuff going for me so i i love this stuff and uh yeah we're gonna see what we can do with this anyways just wanted to say hey how y'all doing a little leo james pr series is what they're calling them um i think they call them premier but uh pr kind of is a little misleading there because well, they are prs ripoffs um but there are huge differences like the cut the cuts here um are completely different and uh the bridge paul reed smith's is way better um yeah so uh but you know it's it's a platform to to get things going that's how i consider it. it's a very cool looking the finish is cool um you know so we'll go from there and see what happens anyways want to say hey how y'all doing always look up i'll see you in it. Peace.